and welcome to Heartwood Acres, where our first scary story that the lake is filmed. We're here today with Joe Eberly, the director, who you may recognize from one of our virtual cabarets presenting his own short story. Without further ado, here he is. So this, this show is called A Gypsy Prophecy. It is based on a short story by Bram Stoker the guy who wrote uh, Dracula. And we have adapted it, adapted it into a screenplay. And it's a really unique combination of things. Um, it is, it's filmmaking, it's storytelling, and it's theater. All kind of wrapped into one and a little bit of self-taping. Uh, Nate Butler and Jennifer Andrada, uh, they are playing um, the Considines, or Considines, however you pronounce it. Um, they are a young couple and they have a friend visiting them from out of town, uh, Gerald Burley, he's a doctor, and he's hanging out with them for a while. And Gerald had heard about this gypsy camp that had uh, made its way into town. And he was very excited about it, wanted to go check it out. And so he encourages uh, Joshua, played by Nate, to come with him. He wants to go see if their fortune telling abilities are actually real and true. So they decide to go to the gypsy camp and Gerald, or not Gerald, I'm sorry, Joshua receives a rather disturbing fortune, rather terrifying, um, which I don't actually want to give away right now, but uh, it's very disturbing and it sets the rest of the film into action and the rest of the, the movie is about how they react to it and what happens as a result of this prediction. The process has been, has been amazing. Um, this is my first time directing a film, and it's also my first time adapting uh, a story into a screenplay. So uh, that was a lot of fun, and that was also very challenging, how to, how to turn uh, the prose into something that uh, is more visual. Um, and one of the first things that came to my mind after I read the story, which uh, by the way is set in late, eight, late uh, 19th century, like 1890s, in England, and um, because of COVID, we needed to do a lot of the scenes outside. First thing that came to my mind for an exterior shot was Hartwood Acres to be the exterior for the house. So, um, and we, we did it, we got to do that, and that was really cool. We have some interior shots, uh, and those we shot at Little Lake Theater. Um, we're not trying to fool anybody that we're inside an English mansion, but uh, because this is being produced by Little Lake Theater, we wanted to give people a little taste of the theater. When you see it, uh, you know, I think it'll be pretty nostalgic for all the uh, fans of Little Lake out there to see the people acting once again in the theater. Uh, what can people expect? Um, well, the concept people need to understand is that this is storytelling. It's like story time. It's like when your parents read you a story as a kid. Um, it's not really a kid's story, although kids can watch it, I'd give it like a PG, PG-13 rating. But the story is being told by Eric Matthews, who I am super excited that we got. The Golden Pipes, I mean, he sounds amazing. He gives, he gives the story so much gravity, so much seriousness that it needs, and so much drama, he's fantastic. So it's really him basically reading you a story, but you get the added bonus of having visuals along with it. Uh, the, it's not like a typical film where there's a lot of dialogue. There are only two scenes out of the eight in which you'll hear the actors actually speaking. Uh, and the rest of it is being narrated by Eric. Um, but there'll be music and, and some pretty cool visuals. And uh, so that's the concept. That's what we want you to have in mind, the frame of mind to have when you, when you see this. That's, uh, that's how it's all put together. I got involved in this project. Uh, Jenna Oberg, uh, artistic director of Little Lake, contacted me and said that uh, they wanted to create these scary stories from the lake uh, for the month of October. And she suggested this story to me. She sent it to me and she said we would like to make videos to put up on YouTube and what do you think? Uh, and she had some ideas, I had ideas and I was so excited. I mean, my very first thought was let's make a short film. Let's make a movie. So uh, we talked about the logistics of how we would do that in the COVID era. Um, you know, pr uh, safety was, a, was definitely a priority, but we had some really good conversations, Jenna and I, and uh, we just, we just, we always mesh really well together creatively. And 
I'm so excited that she was on board with this. It was a lot to undertake to adapt the screenplay and to cast it and to get the costumes and the, and the sets and all that together in a short amount of time, but um, I'm really happy with what we came up with and I hope you guys enjoy it. So one of the most important things about this project is that we all wanted to make sure we were doing this safely. So there were a lot of procedures that we followed to make sure we were COVID compliant. One of the first things we thought of was, uh, in terms of the casting, is to use uh, a real couple who live together to play the parts of Joshua and Mary. And so that's what we did. We have Nate Butler and Jenny Andrada uh, playing uh, Joshua and Mary. And um, so when you see them together in the scene, you know, they're, they're, it's okay for them to be close because they live together all the time. Uh, the other thing, the other actors that are involved, uh, we all kept socially distant. And that's one of the great things about film is that uh, you can get pretty creative and pretty tricky uh, with camera angles and camera tricks to make people look like they're closer together than they really are. So uh, that's, an, that's a cool advantage uh, with film. So it's a, it's a unique combination of things. Um, that I think uh, is going to be very entertaining. It's a little risky, but uh, you know, in the age of COVID, we have to get creative, and uh, and I think it's going to turn out really well. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> 